He was dubbed the Australian Wizard of the Wire, a swashbuckling circus performer with matinee idol looks who rose from a poor rural childhood to become an international star, lauded as the greatest tight wire artist who ever lived. Con Colino was born in Lismore, New South Wales, on the 26th of December, 1899, the third of ten children of an itinerant showman boxer, Cornelius Sullivan, and his part Aboriginal wife, Vitterine. Con was about eight when the family moved to Lightning Ridge, where the children learned circus skills, and by 1910 they were on the road, sometimes presenting their own show and others working with other circuses. Practicing up to seven hours a day, Con would eventually master everything from bareback riding and flying trapeze to tumbling the trampoline and the trombone, feats that dazzled rural crowds who flocked to the family circus. Perhaps inspired by the English Kilino acrobatic troupe, the family adopted the name Kilino, and by 1918, Kilino's all-star circus was touring Queensland. By this time, Con had also mastered a feet-to-feet forward somersault on the tight wire, an act previously considered impossible as the performer cannot see his own feet as they land on the wire. Capitalising on their dark skin colour, but masking their part Aboriginal origins, the children were billed as the Royal Hawaiian Troop, and Con appeared as Zanetto, Prince of the Wire Walkers. By 1922, Con was sufficiently adept to score an engagement on the Tivoli circuit. The following year, he toured for Fullers, who billed other members of the family as the Eight Akaba Arabs. Veteran comedian Ron Shand remembers meeting Con at the bar of the Australia Hotel in Sydney and said, Con Colino was supposed to be Spanish. He was dark, always beautifully dressed, and he spoke impeccably. Consequently, people didn't know what he really was. As we just stood at the bar there, our drinks in our hands, I looked around and I thought to myself, if people knew that Con was an Aboriginal, he would have been thrown out of the bar. That's how it was in those days. In 1924, Con and his fiancée, actress Winifred Travail, set off to conquer the world, and they married a year later. In Johannesburg, Colino adopted the spangled Spanish costume that became his trademark. After a sensational debut at the New York Hippodrome in September 1924, he was soon starring for the great Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey combined circus. The Australian Wizard of the Wire drew a weekly salary of $1,000 US dollars, which is around $17,000 today making him the highest paid circus performer of the time. Racial barriers didn't affect him. Colino's indigenous heritage was unknown to many of his fans, which included one of the most infamous racists in history. In Germany, his artistry charmed both Mussolini and Hitler. As his great niece, Lucia Elliott, would later write on her blog, few people are aware of the fact that in the 1930s, Adolf Hitler issued an Aboriginal Australian tightrope walker with the German passport so he could come and go within the country as he pleased. The fact that Colino managed to dupe Hitler when it came to his Indigenous heritage will never stop delighting me, Elliot wrote. He was able to pass himself off as an exotic Spaniard and Winnie's waspish looks would no doubt have helped act as a decoy to his indigenous roots. The fact Con was fated by Hitler as a righteous example of Spanish Aryan supremacy is quite the achievement. Colino returned to Australia in 1937, headlining in the Tivoli Circuit's Coronation Year Review, Three Cheers for the Red, White and Blue. After the tour, he went bush for two months, half expecting a booking with Worth Circus, but it never came and he returned to the United States. In 1943, he made his only film appearance as an uncredited stunt double for Charles Boyer, who played 
a circus aerialist in the movie F- the Flesh and Fantasy. In 1950, Con Colino became an American citizen. He made a few appearances in Australia the following year, including a stint with the Hopalong Cassidy touring show, but his circus career was waning. He returned again to Australia in 1955 and ran the Albion Hotel in Forbes, New South Wales. This ended in financial disaster, and again, hoped-for circus or variety bookings never came. Con gave his final performance in Honolulu in 1960. By then, he was no longer the headline center ring attraction, and the presence on the bill of the once-celebrated Wizard of the Wire went virtually unnoticed. Con and Winnie retired to Miami, Florida, and in 1966, Con was inducted to the International Circus Hall of Fame. Cornelius Sullivan, Con Colliano, the Australian Wizard of the Wire, died of a heart attack in Miami on the 14th of November, 1973. His wife survived him, as did his elder sister, also named Winifred. She had achieved international renown as a trapeze artist. She, Con, and May Worth are the only Australians represented in the Circus Hall of Fame. Con's younger brother, Morris, worked as an acrobatic comedian mainly in Britain variety shows, though he toured Australia for the Tivoli in 1949 to 1951 and in 1958. A nephew, Bonner, had a notable career as a film actor, paving the way for his son, Mark, who mostly works in television. In 2004, an Aubrey-based Flying Fruit Fly Circus marked its 25th anniversary with Skipping on Stars, a celebration of Con Colino's life and art. The young performers were joined by veteran Aboriginal actor Noel Tovey, who portrayed an older Colino, looking back on his groundbreaking life. Tovey had seen Colino perform many years before and recorded him as a powerful presence in his bullfighter's cape and leggings. The thing I remember most about him was when he walked on stage. He was like charisma overflowing, Tolvi told an interviewer. He had a bearing, a presence. That is something I've tried to copy for the rest of my life. That same ability to command the space that you're in. He could do that. And so from humble beginnings in Lismore and later Lightning Ridge, Con Colino ruled the world as the Australian Wizard of the Wire.